and welcome to the Catfish Farm Enterprise. So if you are joining the channel for the first time, is do well to hit on the subscribe button, turn up your notification, go through this channel. We have a lot of videos available for you. Now in today's video, we are going to be answering the questions most persons have asked. Now I will just show you a message someone sent to me recently on how do I go about processing and packaging the catfish for exports. I have relatives that are outside the nations that want to help me market the product. So how do I go about the whole process of processing these fishes, packaging it and exporting it to them? Now in this video, I'm going to be taking you through on what are the requirements to go into this value chain and the catfish farm business and also what are the processes involved in getting the fishes ready for sale. Now the fishes are commonly called the dry fishes or the smoked fishes. So, but most times we just give them a baptismal name, the processing and the packaging. But everyone just know them as the smoked catfish. And it's also a value chain in the catfish fan line of business. Like you all know, we have the different value chain. We have the breeders that produce the fingerlings, the juveniles. We have the, the fresh fish sellers that do the table size, like you can see over here. We have different pond holding different sizes of fishes. The table size, the roasting size, the melange. So this is also the value chain we run. Now, as an extension, we also run the smoking and the drying value chain too in this farm. Now, for a beginner that wants to go into this kind of value chain, you might not need to ha have a pond or have a farm. What do, you, what do you have to do? You come to farmers like us that have the fishes and you buy from us and you take it and run the process for the marketing. Now, what are the requirements or what are the equipment you need to get? Number one, the fishes, which you can buy from anyone. If you are the one training the fishes, already you have the fishes. Now you need a smoking cane, an oven. It can be the electric oven, it can be the charcoal oven, it can be the one that is done with gas. So any of these can serve the purpose of roasting the fishes for sale. Then you need other equipment, like you need a bowl, you need a knife, and you need salt to do the cleaning and other preservations if you want the chef life to be a bit longer. Then finally, if you want to do the export and the packaging, now you need a package, maybe with your brand name on it, and also you need licenses, let's say from NAVDAC, from Standard Organization, if you are based in Nigeria. Now if you are outside Nigeria and you want to go into it, let's say Ghana and different African countries and you want to go into the export of these fishes, then you need a license from the regulatory body in your country. Now they have different regulatory bodies for different countries. So you just look out for them and get a license because these are food products and they want the quality and the safety of the consumers to be assured. Then for the processes, I want to go into it. How do I process it? Now you have the fresh fish. Now the first stage you will do because very soon in this video, we are going to take you all through the process until you get the fishes oven fresh. Now the first stage, you have fed the fishes from the pond and you check the weights. You weigh them in the scale, how many kg you want to maybe process. Then you have to use salt to deactivate the fishes. Now when you get them, they'll be alive, they'll be active. So you pour them, put them in a bowl, you pour them with salt and you cover them. Now in a few minutes, they'll be deactivated by that salt. After you're done deactivating them, you now have to use water to clean them properly, remove the fins, remove the gills, clean them properly also. So after the cleaning is being done, then you have to call what we call a priming. You prime them with salt also, salt solution. You, now this is different from the initial salt you used earlier to deactivate them. Now in the priming process, you put them in a bowl, you mix salt and water solution and you pour into it. Now this helps as a preserve, as a preservative, also add to give them taste and also to make them firm. So their skin will be thick when you want to put them in the oven. So they don't just look uh, sloppy when you're taking them to the oven. So after the priming is being done, now you get your oven ready, heated, depending on the type of oven you want to use. Now you arrange them in your oven very well and you heat up the oven. You leave it for maybe a day or two days, depending on the temperature of your oven and how it's being regulated. Then it's oven fresh. Now you must regulate the temperature so that it doesn't get burnt. 
so it just gets dried and not burned. So after the whole drying process has been completed, you bring them out, you clean and you put them in your package and that is labeled and you can now send them to the different shoplets, different superstores or different persons that will want to get them or if you are going for the export you ensure you put your registration number and the different stuff and you send them for the export so these are the process that are involved in the smoking of the fishes or the drying of the cat fishes so stay tuned as we take you through the process bit by bit on how we smoke the fishes and how it gets to the packaging stage so stay tuned with us So now we have weighed the fishes that we want to roast, want to process and if you look at the scale, this is 50 kg, so it's 50 kg we want to process. Now it's important that you take the, the weight of the fish you want to process, so that after processing you also weigh so you know how many kg is giving you how many kg of the dried one so I can ensure you on how much you are going to sell them when the time comes for you to sell and how much you can peg your price so you know whether you're making profit or you're making losses so you always sure you check the weight so the next process like i mentioned earlier is the okay de now we want to deactivate the fishes with salt Okay, this is now the cleaning process for the fishes, removing all the geese, the fins, and the fishes. So we are going to be cleaning it, then with salt already. So we are now in the next stage of cleaning them properly. So we are cutting them by sizes. Now different persons, based on their preference, how they get the fishes from, they don't cut it like this. What they do with the fishes, they just bend it and roast. But for the customer or the clients we have, prefer us to cut it in bits for them and remove everything inside the belly of the fishes before we set to roast them. So that's the next process we are on to. So stay tuned with us as we show you the other processes of setting the fishes ready for packaging. So now we are washing the fishes, these are the cleaning stages, washing out the blood, from the fishes, so we wash at this bowl. Then we'll also go to the next bowl and we wash and we'll send it to the last bowl. Now in the place of the last bowl, it's where we'll now do the priming there. Yeah, we use a salt solution to soak the fishes for some time and to get our oven ready to send it to the oven. Now the priming helps to remove all the blood that are clogged in the fishes. Help to remove all the blood that are inside the fishes and make it clean and also make it salty so that the fishes can also be preserved. So after the priming, we are just going to add some preservative for it to stay a bit longer. Most persons don't add the preservative depending on the shelf life you are expecting from the fishes. So you can see you are washing it and they are looking very neat. Okay, so this is the oven, it has a charcoal chamber and also the gas chamber. Yeah. 
so you can see we already we put the fishes inside the oven so you can see the fishes are already inside the oven mm. 